this is the world of men this is the world of men prosperity happens through the ministry of men accelerated wealth happens through the ministry of men if you don't obtain grace to have strategic destiny connections you will remain poor even though you are productive please understand this those that will be stepping into prophetic dimensions of wealth will be people who are valuable with wisdom but in addition to it you see i have learned and i have taught you here that what you call business is not transaction with things it is the business of men every business on earth is the business of men whether you call it oil and gas the business of men banking the business of men agriculture the business of men mining the business of men it is men that give value to the products it is men that give value to the transactions when you buy or sell at the back end of what you are doing is a man kill every man on earth and then all the atms should be given to you all the bank safes should be open all the mining sites should be open they will be useless because there is no man if you have products and you don't have men you are not going to be wealthy did you hear what i said if you have ideas and you don't have men you are not going to be wealthy when god wants to show you mercy whether as a man of god let me tell you the truth he is going to empower you with grace but he will grant you access to strategic relationships relationships that believe in your vision relationships that believe what you stand for and those men will invest into you invest into your relationship when the resources come the wisdom to manage them is already there that's where being valuable comes in the nation of israel remained poor and beggarly for many years even though they were a covenant people because they did not understand the economic system of the kingdom they would come out of egypt with plenty overnight and yet there were many instances where they were still poor and beggarly and became slaves again do you know that the nation of israel became like fugitives it was david that gave israel a city till today in israel their flag is the star of david it was david that gave them a resting place because they did not really understand the economic system of the kingdom when i learned how prophecy makes is manifest financially it is not about things it is about men the reason why you need to hold something in your hand is so that it will attract the men did you hear what i said men men are the unfair advantage that god has placed in our world to help prophecies even financial prophecies to come to pass in the lives of people if you think all you will do is to save your way towards buying your house taking care of your children i assure you in this wicked world we're living in you may not build a house in your lifetime do you know that there are graduates that for 10 20 years after graduation they've not gotten a job and even for those who have gotten a job they are not able to do anything see i've had the honor by the privilege of god's grace to travel a bit and this is not an african problem i've traveled a bit and the number one trouble for people is even getting to the basics of establishment satan wants it so so you spend your entire life trying to make ends meet whether it's a house whether it's some means of mobility whether it's something for your children even in economies that their systems work there are people who are still victims because it's an antichrist system let me tell you the truth when god wants to help you there are people he has already helped god will bring strategic i call it strategic connection you are not the one who looks for it if you go around looking for rich people they will arrest you one day because there are some of you, you, you <laughs> 
Some of you, once someone does not have money, cannot be your friend. And you will use what I say now and say confirmation. You see now, Apostle has even agreed with me. I can't surround myself with people suffering again. Be careful because God is still lifting men. Somebody you will laugh at today, you will turn and find out he's the only help you have. Unfortunately, you have insulted the person. What happens if Joseph is the only one who can give you food and you already threw him in the well? What do you tell him as a prime minister? I've shown you that that model of strategic connections, we see it between Abraham and Lot. You remember? We see, do you know how Abraham prospered? I taught you here. Abimelech, go and read your Bible. Remember Abimelech wanted to carry his wife and God told him, if you touch that woman, you are dead. And as a reward, he gave him gifts, gave him several things. Lot went with him. He was benevolent enough to share. Lot's becoming wealthy was not a product of his wisdom. It was not a product of his value. It was that he was strategically connected to a man who had covenant with God. How about Ruth and Boaz? How about Esther? Are we together now? Mordecai was outside of the palace. But the day the king decided to draw him close, that man was celebrated overnight. Do you think Mordecai was not valuable? He was valuable. He saved the king. And yet he was not rewarded. Because the race is not to the swift. Nor the battle to the strong. Nor bread sometimes to them that are wise. When God wants to help you, I'm teaching you a powerful formula so that you will know how to engage in this prophecy. Does not mean to not be valuable, don't get me wrong. Does not mean to not build your value and transact as you do, but have it at the back of your mind that God gives men speed, not by putting them on chariots. He gives them speed by bringing those who are already a representation of your future and to make them like you and to connect with you in a way that allows them to release from their blessings to you. This is how the kingdom works. That in one day, you can step into a level of inheritance that will bless you. Why is God not afraid to bring that kind of speed? Because he has worked on your heart. So plenty does not destroy you again. Because your heart already belongs to him. Are we together now? Let me tell you the truth. And I don't mean to insult money. But this one one naira that keeps dropping like dew. Not much will ever happen for the kingdom like that. Not for your life, not for his program. The Antichrist system has a bank of wealth and they are prepared to fund anything that is against the program of God. Believers must have access to the resources of the kingdom. I will always make reference to all the various programs that we are organizing now by the grace of God. I know we are praying. I know you want to see Jesus revealed. But ladies and gentlemen, if I begin to tell you the economic implication of obedience, did you hear what I said? The economic implication of obeying God. Paul said, I, I was not negligent to this heavenly calling, but it takes a lot of resources. And that when God wants to help a man, beyond just giving you business ideas, he brings strategic men strategic men are even enhancers to your business your business prospers based on who you do the business with not just the business any business can make you a multi-millionaire any scriptural godly business can make you a millionaire and billionaire depending on who you do it with are we together so even using the works of your hands when god wants to help you he will help you to serve kings because the wealth of any nation is in the palace. As much as it's in the field, when it is extracted from the field, it is taken to the palace. That is where it is stored. And if you cannot access the palace, nor the heart of Pharaoh, you will remain poor. When you see me cry about favor all the time, and I teach you relationship principles all the time is because this is, is not one of the many ways. I tell you sincerely, it is the accelerator factor in your becoming prosperous. So when God says it is a season of abundance, 
that means he's bringing you greater wisdom that means he's purging your heart that means that he's granting the blessing upon the work of your hands but more than that it means that you must begin to pray he says you ask for the rain at the time of the latter rain when you see that the time has come you participate in prayer lord who is that one man who is that one woman strategically connected and you learn how to discern them and receive them when they come because if you pray like I have taught you and you do not know how your answer looks like your answer will pass you and God will say I answered you since January and you kept driving away your answer your answer came as a destiny helper but because you do not know what to do with destiny helpers you push them away can I show you one more thing before we pray is someone learning who is ready to receive? Hmm. Walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am walking in abundance, moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I've taught you in this place that relationships are advantageous connections I've taught you that relationships must be mutually beneficial not equally beneficial but mutually beneficial to the parties that are involved listen carefully now I've taught you in this place that relationships are bridges if you recall to an exceptional life the bridge between your yesterday and tomorrow, the quality of your yesterday and tomorrow is a relationship. The same way you can stand because a bridge is broken. You are seen where you need to go to but you are not able to get there because the bridge is broken. That is what happens to a man when the strategic relationships that are meant to birth prophecy in your life, when those relationships are not there, you can even see, not by vision, you can see the kind of future you should step in, but never get into that future. I've taught you that relationships are currencies. Please hear me, prophetic people. Relationships are currencies that they can buy anything money can buy anything money can buy relationships can buy it let me say it again anything you think about anything money can buy relationships can buy it if money can buy you a house relationships can buy that house if money can buy you any means of mobility relationships can do that if money can fund a crusade relationships can fund a crusade anything at all relationships are